Hey Star Wars fans, welcome to another vintage collection action figure review. These are a couple of figures I've had for a little while now, but I'm finally getting around to um, getting some reviews done for them. I've just been a little pressed for time, and uh, I've been really looking forward to uh, digging and having a look. So we're going to kick off with Commander Wolf. It's a pretty nice looking image actually. Um, a lot nicer than the most recently revealed uh, Captain Rex that's going to come out. Uh, I suppose next year. Um, here's VC-168. All the figures in the wave. There are the four repacks. And I still have yet to get a gonk droid, but I need to. So hopefully I'll get him very, very soon. So Commander Wolf. Uh, good figure. I have actually done a few little mods to it. So I'm looking forward to showing that. I've done one mod. That's, that's a few in my mind, apparently. Um, so one mod with the antenna, I wasn't really happy with the antenna on the shoulder, so I'm going to explain that as I dig into the figure. So let's take a closer look. All right, so here's a close-up look at Commander Wolf out of the packaging. This is a pretty sweet figure. I'm really happy with this clone. Um, I still don't think there was any problems. I mean, they're using the same body mold that they've sort of used over the last... It must be since about 2014, uh, I think, when they switched it out, which was in the three and three quarter inch black series line that they put out then. Um, I don't think there was anything wrong with the mold before that. Um, that sort of took us in, took us through like to 2012. But it is what it is. So we're going to get a close look at what we've got and not what we don't have. So if you do have this figure or you've seen it. Um, you will notice that he comes with a big white antenna that looks a little bit phallic for my liking. So I did go ahead and chop that off. I drilled a extremely small, I think it was a 0.5 mil, maybe it was a 1 mil uh, hole. And then I just dug into my accessories box uh, from my other Star Wars figures and just found this little little thing which I just snipped off a weapon um, so it's flexible and I just poked that in the hole super glued it in and uh, just gave it a run over it with a, with a silver sharpie and come out looking looking like that so I uh, also did it to my commander Th Thorn because um, he had the same problem uh, otherwise the only downside to this figure is that the guns don't really sit in the hands very well um, it's more so an indictment on the hands than the blasters because we've had these blasters so many times over the years uh, but for some reason they just don't want to get the hands right or they don't want to match the blasters up with the hands and it just doesn't quite sit in uh, so you may notice here that I have sort of cut the bottom off the trigger off or the trigger guard so that it does sort of just sit in front of his finger there that one I've neglected to do or well, maybe I did but yeah, it's just not quite sitting in the hands properly, but it's fine. Um, once you've sort of got them tucked in there, it's okay. But yeah, the, the neat design, yeah, it just needs a little bit more improvement. Now where this figure really shines is the removable helmet. So we'll get a close up look at his head sculpt because that is a, uh, Really nicely done, if it wants to focus. Ta-da, there we go, focused. Mostly. <laughs> Done a really good job with this one, the scarring looks great. On his eye, come on. Really nicely looking. Got the uh, insignia on the uh, see, blaster just fell out of the hand on the left arm there, and the wolf pack sigil on the right. The helmet fits on really nicely, and it's a, a reasonably nice mold, too. It's not too thin, it's not too flimsy, looks good scale. The uh, Rangefinder works, which is really cool. Karma around the top of his legs there, and then the grey down the bottom. So it's definitely a nice looking clone. 
Uh, yeah, I just wish that the Rex that they just announced at HasCon 2020, uh, Hasbro PulseCon, sorry, uh, I just wish they put a little bit more effort into a new Rex and made it on par with this Wolf. Because this, uh, this is really cool. Uh, it's got all the standard articulation for three and three quarter inch these days. Um, only the swivel thighs is probably the only only uh, downside because we have had clones with the ball hinged hips before. Um, but that's okay. This is a this is a damn fine figure. I really really like having it in the collection. So let me know in the comments what you think below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do and give us a thumbs up on the video if you like what you see. Um, I'll be back with some more very soon, so until then, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.